Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's D. About to react to this vid by Blackie Speaks. It's titled Eminem Ignored This Rapper for 20 Years. I'm assuming he's talking about this uh, new Eminem song that's on Lyrical Lemonade. Um, it's called Doomsday. I recently listened to that album and I came across this track and I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> like, he was talking about busy in his neck and, and some other stuff. And the whole song, he's pretty much dissing him. And I was like, okay, I could do without this. I didn't keep that one. I did like the Doomsday with Juice World and Corday though. That one, that one's fine. I kept that one, but the one with Eminem, I did not, cause I was like, I, I don't need to listen to this. I don't know why he's talking about Benzino. I don't know what's going on, but y'all, this, this is just not something I care about, <laughs> you know. And apparently, Benzino dissed him twenty years ago. Like, I don't know what the backstory is, but sure, well, we're about to get all the deeds. Let's watch. What's going on with you today, me amigo? I appreciate you for joining me. Thank you so much. Today, I want to have a little conversation about this rapper that Eminem responded to after 20 years of ignoring him. It's been a good while since we spoke about Eminem, actually. Damn. Feels like it's been years since I last spoke about Eminem. I'm sure everybody's familiar with Eminem, though. This is the best selling rapper of all time, right? Eminem is just out here. What? What is he doing? I'm actually not... I have no clue what Eminem is doing. Chilling I'm sure he's working on an moves. album, but I haven't really paid too much attention to Eminem. I feel like it's kind of hard to gauge what Eminem is actually doing really? because he's such a recluse. Like, Eminem is not really out here popping up in the media or anything like that. When Eminem, however, does pop up, it's always for something that has to directly do with his music or something that he's doing that matters. Now today we're gonna talk a little bit about this Eminem and Benzino beef. I'm sure some of y'all might recognize Benzino, but just in case you don't, Benzino is a 58 year old rapper out of Damn. Boston, Massachusetts. He's mostly recognized for- <laughs> not... I'm only saying that because oh, engaging in beef and you push it 60 is wild. Like, I, 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 I just don't understand it. His actual music, but for beef and with Eminem. I love everybody, man. Eminem ain't no bad person. He belongs in hip hop. It's a big racist problem in America right now. And Eminem could probably stop, stop half of it. But, you know, he was also what? the founder of the okay. Source magazine for a period of time. He was also I on that love and hip hop at one point. So, that's as far as that. And also, I almost forgot. He's also the father of Coyle Ray, who you might recognize. So the other day, Eminem actually decided to respond to Benzino. Now, this is such a big moment because if you guys didn't know, this is literally the first time in 20 years that Eminem has ever responded to Benzino. So in other words, Benzino has been dissing Eminem and like dragging Eminem's name through the mud for like literally like the last 20 plus years. Why? And Eminem didn't respond a single time. Now, M did respond to him in the past and we're gonna get into that in a second but this is so monumental and obviously it's such a big moment for Benz. oh i thought benzino dissed him 20 years ago and he just waited 20 years to diss him but no benzino been talking shit about him for 20 years <laughs> why you know because he's finally getting a response from the one and only eminem which ain't something that happens every day i mean it's not every day that eminem goes on a record and this is you. Honestly, like, I feel like that's Machine an honor. Like, Kelly no matter what way you look right? at it, I feel like this is like just, it's a big moment, right? So first, before we get to Eminem's record, I want to give you a little summary of how this beef actually started in the <laughs> first place. Him. So this beef dates all the way back to 2002. Benzino oh, was the co-founder of this magazine called The Source, a magazine that was very prominent back in the day. He used the magazine to kind of start something with Eminem. Now, The Source magazine consistently nice. gave Eminem low ratings for his projects. This is something that Eminem wasn't too big of a fan of and felt targeted by the magazine because he was one of the <laughs> only rappers who wasn't receiving a high rating. And this resulted in Eminem responding in this interview right here. I, I know that you have yet to receive a five mic uh, review in The Source. Is that something that-, that was... I have yet to receive even a four and a half. Everybody gets a four. Everybody, like, that's the standard now. That's the standard. If you get a four and a half, that must mean that Benzino wants you on his album. So this transitioned into a beef with Benzino himself, okay? So the Source magazine was the source, no pun intended, of this beef right here. However, Benzino, who was the co-founder of this magazine, claimed that the only reason why the beef started was because he had an issue with the so-called machine that was promoting and pushing Eminem's name to the mainstream. I had a problem with the machine, with the double standard in hip-hop, he said in an interview on TV News. Certain media outlets take to him and look at him as the savior in hip-hop and the number one in hip-hop and do not recognize the guys out here that So you want to bring him down. Eminem is just a hood ornament for the machine, Benzino said. You think I could grab 
my crotch and put my ass in people's faces the way he does? No way. But as long as the color of his skin and his eyes fits what America wants, it's all right. I mean, valid point, okay? But <laughs> in response to this, you're gonna rate his albums poorly just because of this? When his albums clearly were respected, they were really well done. People appreciated them. I can't speak on them. I don't. <laughs> I don't listen to Eminem personally. I never really have. He has a few songs that I really love. He got some bops for sure, but I've never been a hardcore hip hop fan. So I also didn't listen to Nas or... Or the other old school <laughs> rap greats. I, none of them niggas, all right? Just never been a fan of like really deep lyrical rap. So he was for me. But I know that people, you know, respected him. So he clearly had good albums, good songs, but you wanted to rate him poorly just because you feel like it was racism going on and he was a representation of that. Like that's fucked up. Benzino but you got a valid point. tracks were fired off left and right from both Eminem no and Everybody... Eminem's initial response to the Let's Source magazine was on a record titled Say What You Say. And this is what Eminem said. And if I ever do live to be a legend, I'm going to die a sudden death. Five mics in a source. I ain't holding my fucking breath. But I'll suffocate for the respect before I breathe to collect a fucking check. The first time Benzino dissed Eminem on a record was on the track I Don't Wanna. This one kind of went under the radar though and the song Pull Your Skirt Up, which was the second diss track, is deemed as his first real response. On this song, Benzino says let me start from the beginning. You ain't repping the streets. You from the outskirts of Detroit where the bitches meet. I'm gonna pull your skirt up, expose your true sex, antagonize your label till I get my respect. You ran to your manager, ask him how to handle this. Five shades darker, motherfucker, you'll be cannabis. No one would care about your complicated rhyme style. Another backpack rapper out of style, Benzino said. Damn. And then on this last part, he said, don't really have to backslap your moms if you smile. I'm serious. If you ain't gonna respect her, why should I? All together, Eminem responded to Benzino on a couple different instances, but the most memorable one was Nail in the Coffin, which was literally the nail in the coffin. Because after this Nail in the Coffin record, Benzino wasn't really the same. Because Em ended up skyrocketing and went on with his career like nothing had happened. While Benzino got, unfortunately, left in the dust and kept on responding to Em, trying to bait him into firing back once again. I would never claim to be no Ray Benzino, an 83-year-old fake Pacino, Eminem said on this song. And then he continued, and then he said, So how can he hold me over some balcony without throwing his lower back as soon as he goes to lift me? Please don't. You'll probably follow me and our asses will be both history. But then again, you finally get your wish because you'd be all over the street like 50 Cent. You fucking punk pussy fucking chump. Give me a one-on-one -on -one see if I don't fuck you up. Trying to jump the Rough Riders and they cut you up and you put shade on the track. That's how much you suck. Dig in the industry. Swear that you in the streets hustling. You sit behind a fucking desk at the source butt kissing and begging motherfucker for guest appearances and you can't even get the clearances because real lyricists don't even respect you or take you serious damn like bars we, we hate you period talk about a midlife crisis damn oof eminem was swinging on this shit man last week he was shaking ob trice's hand now he's a buster what the fuck's with that get on a track dissing us kissing 50s ass and asking me what i know about indictments bite me bitch i got two kids. i think it's so funny though when <laughs> when people age shame others because it's like it's so funny hearing that he said this because it's like now you old <laughs> You know, there's nothing wrong with being old. It's a blessing to get old, but it's just so funny. Like, because it's like, every everybody gets old. Is that probation? I, I guess at the time when you're young, it hits. Name, it's, it's because of but this bars. right here. I think it's got to be one of the most vicious diss tracks I've ever heard, honestly. Now, there's some other things that happened during this beef, but I'm not going to go too deep into it. Just wanted to kind of scratch the surface so you know exactly what the backstory is. So now let's take a look at this recent record that dropped. It's by Lyrical Lemonade, and Eminem was featured on this record. So I'm going to start off the diss by saying, now I got a riddle. One condition, you mustn't laugh. He continues and says, what's the opposite of Benzino? A giraffe. Go at his neck. How the fuck is that? How can I go at something he doesn't have? Arms so short, he can't even touch his hands. When they're above his head, doing jumping jacks. Sorry, I don't and he made a touch that you've been. When I talk about that, all the debt you win. I hear that you've been creeping on a low. In cheap hotels, yeah, they catch you in. Jesus Christ, dog, when you said 210. Never guessed you meant at the Red Roof Inn. In a room with one single bed. Two men. Shady man, you can't. Yes, you can. Well, I guess then I regret to inform you. Hate to spoil the day, but this doesn't bring me no joy to say. Guess that quarter of the race, feet in the toilet. A. Hey, damage due to flows. Collateral, I suppose. Gap point of like Mine and Santa Bullock's nose. So this is but I laughed when I heard it because I'm like, you was not trying to get on the sofa with right anyway. But I just thought that was funny. He had her in there like, well, can't, can't get us out with Coilerae now. 
But she don't give a fuck about her daddy either. The first time Eminem has responded to Benzino in the last 20 years, which is kind of crazy when you think about how much Benzino has been coming for Eminem. Like anyone who's been paying attention to what Benzino has said about Eminem throughout the years, how many times in the last 20 years he's tried to come for Eminem, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. So Benzino actually ended up responding to Eminem on two different records back to back he ain't waste no time so the first this he so dropped is titled tired. vulturious and on this record he says candy ass m&m like as feminine maggie like a melanin all valiumed up again oh shit here we go benzino versus jim crow no what? i when i see one how many times you overdose you a punk plan my funeral please shoot who square ain't even go circle after the black for proof oh did he brought up proof I just nah. like and then on the next Dissy Drop titled Rap Elvis, which uh, it's rumored that Benzino didn't write this, this record himself. But on his diss record, he said, rock and roll was a black thing until Elvis came in and made it different. You can't self-sustain. You too selfish. Wait and listen. You keep saying my name. Put yourself in this position. This is what happens when the Celtics play the Pistons. I wish I was minding my business. You wasn't making any type of noise these days. So our choice was made. Cloud Chase, Benzino, and Coyle Ray. You still in your annoying phase. Now this particular diss wasn't really that bad, honestly. Like this is kind of hard. Like you got, you really have some bars on this one. But, but nobody like, cares. Like, scared, it's actually rumor that Benzino didn't write this himself because the song is just. I mean, it's it's so good to the point where people are like, ain't no way Benzino wrote this. Now is Eminem gonna respond to Benzino once again? Absolutely not. Eminem is gonna mind his own business for the next twenty years, <laughs> and you know maybe he's gonna respond. Just maybe. I do think it's interesting that Benzino has even had like the energy to go after Eminem for this long. All right, enough of y'all bullshit. <laughs> because what this is so random and benzino got a fucking hard on as soon as he heard that eminem responded to him he like finally finally like nigga nobody cares <laughs> about you nobody is checking for you as a rapper like at all so this is just odd that he's had a hard on for eminem for so many years it's like that man is off somewhere enjoying his millions and you over here pressed like you're not nearly as successful. And I think that's why he's also resentful because it just doesn't make any sense for him to have this chip on his shoulder for this many years. It's very odd. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!